we are chilling outside at CMA Fest. It's not really chill, it's pretty warm outside, but we did find an awesome spot. Talking to Tristan Jackson, how are you? How are you doing, Scott? I'm doing awesome, man, oh, I'm doing awesome. Man. Okay, so first thing, before we get into anything else, how do you get Dunkin' Donuts as an endorsement? Because I, I, I tell you, there are so many people around here that I know would love to have that. Oh, uh, you know, it, it starts with getting to know the owner, Steve uh, Colano and his partner, Chris. Uh, honestly, it just kind of organically happened. We met, he loved the single wake up call. He thought it fit the brand, Dunkin' Donuts. And I'm a fan of Dunkin' Donuts, have been for, since I was a kid. Right. Uh, matter of fact, it, it even is a segue into my fiance always going to Dunkin' Donuts when we first started dating and where I first told her I loved her. Oh, was that a Dunkin' Donuts? And that's uh, that is segues perfect, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, and but that was like that was three years ago, three and a half years ago. So it wow. wasn't like it, it didn't happen overnight, right? So uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he's my granddad looking down for me because he's the one who always took me to Dunkin' Donuts when I was a he kid. He was a coffee drinker? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Black, black. Coffee like tastes it. good when it's, it's all dressed it in too. black. Yeah. You don't need to sugarcoat things when they don't taste that bad. Is that, that's, that's song like, lyrics right there. Yes. My granddad actually, uh, <laughs> my granddad told me that and me and my friend Jerry Gregg put it in a song. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So we're here in Nashville, CMA Fest week, but tell us, what have you been up to? Let, let everybody know kind of what you got going on right now. Uh, lots of studio work. Okay. Cutting vocals, for, uh, finishing up vocals for I Am, the new album coming out okay. in mid-July. So we're trying to just wrap everything up, do some final tweaking with some producers that uh, I'm inspired by. Uh, at the same time, writing, constantly writing with you know some well-known people, well-known artists that yeah, I love. Yeah, and I was, you segued in perfectly because I was going to say, <laughs> there's some big name songwriters you've been working with. So, um, you know, who, who is that? What, do, what have you been doing with them? Uh, Desmond Child, starting okay. off with that. If you don't know who Desmond is, you've heard his songs. I will <laughs> promise you that. Some of the biggest songs in the world today, uh, as well as Love and Theft, Eric, Stephen Lyles especially, been uh, writing several songs with him. Carrie Degman, Megan Lindsay, uh, List goes on and on. That's so Nolan cool. Neal, oh my okay. gosh, who's amazing, <laughs> amazing. So, oh, Michael Tate from oh. uh, Newsboys. Yep. Yes. Okay. Got him. I almost Tate. forgot about Michael Tate. Um. So, if people don't know, you made a, a huge transition, and you went from acting to music. Yeah. How How did that come about? I mean, it, it, tell us a story. I'm sure everybody would love to hear where that came from. Well, that's. Uh, <laughs> it started when I was. First, I got into acting when I was 16. Okay. Uh, David A.R. White, who uh, produced and owns the studio that did God's Not Dead. When I was 16, he was just an actor on a set. He gave me, helped me get my first line, and it took off from there. Started TV in front of behind, you know, camera, whole nine yards. Do you, do you still remember what the first line was? Oh man, that's a good I question. I put you on the spot on that one. Oh. That's probably really hard though. Oh. 16, try to. Uh, Wow, no, I can't remember. Okay, well, well I'll, I'll do research and I'm gonna put yeah. underneath of this, we'll find it and put it on wow, there. Wow, yeah, I gotta figure that one out. <laughs> now you got me thinking about that. No, uh, man. No, but from there, uh, did several movies uh, in LA, so uh, TV series. That's so cool. Blah, blah, blah. And he's being so modest, and what should I say, humble right now, because Tom Cruise, okay, you, you've you done a lot with the man, know the man, so go ahead, I'll name drop it, but you can talk about it, okay? Um, I started, I met Tom Cruise in D.C. I was I was actually down in Wilmington, North Carolina, working on Dawson's Creek, doing some stuff down there for Screen Gym Studios, and I get a call from Cruise and Wagner Productions, and hey, can you uh, come up and be Tom Cruise's on-screen photo double? Now, I was already in front of the camera, but when you get a call going, will you be on camera as if you're Tom Cruise, his on-screen photo double? I think he wanted me because I'm a little taller. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it's all seriousness. He, uh, so I went up to DC, I was like, it's Spielberg, it's Minority Port, it's Tom Cruise. Wow. Yes. yes. And it just went from there, I did that, to Last Samurai, to War of the Worlds. Okay. Uh, CMA Fest Week. CMA Fest Week. That's what, we're, that's what we're doing. You never know what you're going to get. It's either jackhammers, sirens, yep. or music, right? <laughs> or all of above. All of it. Welcome to Nashville. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll let them pass, but at the same time, I know. Um, there he goes. <laughs> um, circling back around, wake up call. Man, yes. love it. Absolutely love Thank it. You. Tell us a little bit. You mentioned it, but uh, I know it's coming out on the, the next 
album. Wake Up Call actually was uh, a song that Kenneth Duncan, Lindsey Edwards, and um, another gentleman by the name of Blake, I uh, can't remember his last name off the top of my head, but uh, Kenneth is a good friend of mine. I wrote with Kenneth Duncan, and he said, Tristan, this, this song will be you. Now, whenever somebody pitches me a song, I'm always, I gotta feel it. I gotta, I gotta be able to feel emotion out of it. Sure. And make it my own. I took the song, took it to Warner uh, Studios, then I took it to RCA, different producers, until I got it to Will Garrett, and Will Garrett started producing it, and then I just found the voice for it, uh, added the tagline, but there was something missing, and it was a female voice. I needed somebody else singing, so I, my fiance sings, and I was like, this would be perfect, because truthfully, the song really reminds me of her and I's relationship. Okay. And, and Christy Lane, just so everybody yeah, knows. Lane, yeah. Yep. So we so uh asked her to come in, cut vocals on it. She did. I gave her the tagline at the end of the sing and, and and it just became something that was meant to be. And I gotta give it all up to Kenneth, Duncan and Will Garrett and you know, those who, who really helped me get to the song's core. Love so, it. Love yeah. it. And I know everybody's gonna be waiting for that to come out. I can't well, wait actually, for it's I already am. out. Or well, I am yeah, I to am. get the entire deal. Yes. yes. Everybody should have that song downloaded by now. If they don't, so. something's wrong, right? <laughs> or at uh, least go watch the video on YouTube. Exactly. Yes. Kirsty's really hot. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's let's do a fun question. Okay. What does Tristan do to escape reality? You just need to get away from everything. What is the one thing that you would be like, yep, that's what I gotta go do? I love hiking in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Very nice. Love okay. it. It's two hours south from here. It, I, I just go down there and I hike, I hike up the mountains there and uh, look out mountain. I, that's truthfully my getaway. So I cool. Truthfully, would walk up the mountain just to have a, an amazing time. You see off trail stuff and you know off the beaten path kind of that's thing. That's so, so cool. I, I love like, Chattanooga. It's a good escape. A great love escape. Right? Yes. All right. So I'm going to hit you with my B chord question. I do this of everybody we ever talk to. Right. So you're stranded on an island. You can take one instrument with you. Tell us what the instrument would be, and if there's a sentimental value, people love to hear that too. Uh, it'd be a harmonica. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He I gets the first harmonica. I don't think anybody's ever said it. Yeah. I, I love the harmonica. I love playing the harmonica. I, I do it occasionally here and there on stage, but for me, it just reminds me of my granddad. Okay. So very uh, cool. A lot of my, a lot of my backstory, my journey, or as I say, stories make up your journey. They all go back to my granddad. Everything okay. from my music to country music I listen to to everything. I love it. Being a man of my word, all yeah. that goes back to my granddad. That's so, so cool. So cool. Well, before we let you go, tell everybody where they can follow you, all that good stuff. Give it all to them right now. You can go to Instagram or IG if you're hip. I am Tristan Jackson. That would be the predominant place. Or I am TristanJackson.com. And you can find everything from there. I love it. So. Tristan, well, thank man. you so much. Really, really appreciate it, okay? Hey, everybody, give us a follow at Bcord615. We truly appreciate this. We'll talk to you soon. I know you're asleep, but I want to feel the sunlight.